Nolajet here, Vinny Sports Bar and Grill. Yeah! Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of the Travel With Me vlog, we're at Vinny Sports Bar and Grill on a travel search for best burger options in New Orleans. Vinny Sports Bar and Grill is located on the west bank of the greater New Orleans area at 2766 Bell Chase Highway in Gretna, Louisiana, which is about 15 minutes and seven and a half miles away from the French Quarter. Vinny Sports Bar and Grill offers 35 beers on tap and advertises they have the best burgers in town. So let's go ahead and head on inside and check this place out. So Vinny's has been a West Bank staple for over 25 years. And during normal times, they offer pool, video poker, darts, trivia night, and live music. But now we're in COVID-19 time, so most of that is shut down. But they do have quite a nice area here and a very impressive selection of beers. So New Orleans has a lot of great food, and that also includes some of the best burgers I've ever eaten anywhere. So I don't usually have to travel for best burger options that I already know about that are some of my favorites, but this is my first visit to Venny's. I might go so far as to say that New Orleans might have the best hamburger in the USA to my taste and offers many great burgers, but first we feast on the cheeseburger here at Venny's to experience what could be the USA best hamburger candidate, but we will let you decide that for yourself. I am constantly asking where is the best hamburger and who has the best hamburger, and often I find the best burgers are still found in New Orleans. So eat with me hamburger perfection, so let's get started with a hamburger eat with me on our travel vlog. So as you can see, a lot of the pool tables and other items are closed for the pandemic, but they do have a nice back patio here you might miss behind the pool tables. So they have this nice little area here that can be a good little hideaway for a little more adventuresome outdoor eating and a little more privacy than you would get if you eat in the very front of the restaurant. But I'm going back inside to sit in the little corner tables here as I like that area, but let's check out the menu now. So for starters, we have spinach and artichoke dip, flaming shrimp, jalapeno poppers, fried pickles, cheese fries, french fries. We have spicy buffalo wings, fried mozzarella sticks, onion rings, meat pies, chili cheese fries, sweet potato fries, fried green tomatoes, sweet corn bites. Ooh, then we have Benny's homemade hamburger steak. Then we have our various burgers. Then we have salads, and then we have quesadillas and sliders. Then on the next page, we have wraps, po' boys, and sandwiches with a chicken Caesar wrap, chipotle chicken wrap, sesame toasted ahi tuna wrap, we have a saint's wrap, a buffalo popcorn shrimp wrap, a spicy fried chicken wrap, spicy buffalo chicken wrap, spicy buffalo chicken sandwich, shrimp po' boy. Then we have our Raging Cajun, a roast beef po' boy, a Philly Philly, the lightweight, the Italian stallion, Benny's Club sandwich, and then platters with ribeye steak, the coach. That's golden fried chicken tenders, and then catfish. For desserts, we have vanilla cheesecake and chocolate lava cake. We have our happy hour, and then our specials with a Wednesday steak special open to close, our Thursday rib special open to close, and Friday steak special. Ooh. So I got the sauteed mushroom burger with Swiss cheese and a side of onion rings with some delicious comeback sauce on the side here. So let's dig on in and hey, give this video a thumbs up and destroy that subscribe button as it really does help us with the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate it. Let's dig into this onion ring now. Ooh, it's very nice. And the comeback sauce here is really good. It's got a nice spice kick to it. And look at this burger. This is a pretty large size burger here. It's just, uh, wow, they put so much stuff on it. It's kind of falling off the edges here. I don't know if I'm gonna maintain structural integrity. Uh, the meat is a decent thickness, certainly. And then my onions and lettuce seem to be barely holding on. They wanna creep out the bottom. The tomato is maintaining itself inside so far. I don't know if these red onions are gonna last though. They, uh, they are starting to slip out. I might have to reorganize here, but let's continue on. 
as we make our effort to finish this thing. This is a lot of work ahead of us here. They've done a good job of toasting the bun there. It's got a, a nice little crunchiness to it, so it's always good when they finish a bun properly. Got that good texture to it. So it's uh, toasted on the outside, soft on the inside. So perfect balance, some yin yang going on here. And um, it's good flavors here. So, so far, this is a tasty, delicious burger. I'm liking the uh, mushrooms and the Swiss cheese on here as well. So it's uh, well put together overall with a little structural integrity issues, certainly with maintaining everything in there. So I reorganized and got the red onions back inside so they would not slip out and escape. So we continue our feasting without losing any structural integrity here, hopefully. Although, this thing's so big here, I might have a little lettuce leak out. Let's see. So far, we're uh, doing pretty good, though, I think. So just a little uh, reorganization helped out, I think. So this is doing better here. Here we go. And uh, it's a nice little chunk of meat here. And it's good flavors. So, up, oh, up, oh, we lost a little bit there. A little... Little structural integrity crumbling away, but uh, that would be expected with this much stuff on a burger. So, <laughs> just adds to the flavor and the adventure of eating it, though. Ooh, all right, got some of the onion coming out now. So, the onion sometimes can uh, be a little challenging to bite through like that. I think uh, for, I mean, I uh, do like some raw red onion, but on the burger, it's usually a little easier if they saute it that way. Uh, sometimes get a little easier uh, crunch through so it doesn't all stick together sometimes and fall out. And the burger is such a good size. I'm getting a little bit full too. So this is definitely a burger on the larger end of the spectrum. I've definitely have eaten larger burgers. But this is definitely a respectably sized burger. This is not a tiny little burger, so you uh, certainly can easily fill yourself up with a burger here, I would say. They definitely are not making tiny burgers, so you do get a good sized piece of meat on a good sized bun, so it's a nice little feast where you're gonna maybe even have a little leftover if you don't have a big appetite, but I ate all the meat. Oh no. Now I just have some bun and vegetables on here. I've gone totally vegetarian. What's going on with this? Ah, oh, where's the beef? Where's the beef? Oh no. So uh, somehow I got my structural integrity off and I uh, somehow Ended up eating the meat before I got through the entire burger. I don't know what happened here. How did I do this? Oh no, I have uh, not properly eaten the burger all the way. The, the way it should have been eaten, I suppose. But uh, hey, we'll still polish it off. And uh, I am missing the rest of the meaty flavor in the burger. So I'll just have to uh, have my little vegetarian dessert finish here. And bam, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up for finishing that burger there. And comment below what you thought about that burger, but now it's time for a little more onion ring. And wow, that comeback sauce is so good. Oh, and uh, it's got a nice little spicy kick and flavor to it that I do enjoy. The onion rings are well breaded. They're very crunchy, so it's got a nice... Uh, excellent fried job done to them so the uh, batter is not coming off of the onion rings it's holding together very well so very nicely done with the fry work now i actually had a french fry in here too so let's try the french fry out it's also nice and crunchy uh it's a very good french fry so they do seem to know how to fry things here quite well, so uh, no problems with that. Got a little leftover burger still to eat, some mushrooms, a little pickle, a little more onion there, so we'll take that down. Ooh. All right, so a little change of flavor before we get back into the onion rings. They have some uh, nice size variation, so it definitely looks like they are freshly slicing these onions up and making their own onion rings. Could be wrong, they might be out of a package, but usually uh, out of the package, they're uh, not 
quite the variety of sizes I'm seeing in this one. It uh, definitely looks like they got a whole onion and sliced it up. And uh, I definitely am a fan of this sauce. The comeback sauce is definitely adding a whole level of extra flavor to this that makes it way more interesting to eat. So I'm really liking this a lot. It's very nice. I do like it and appreciate it. So thumbs up for the sauce, definitely. It kicks it up a whole nother notch. They definitely give you a decent size serving of onion rings too, so this is certainly a larger size meal overall. So you're not gonna be leaving here hungry. And there's definitely a lot of great flavor profiles in the food. So this definitely is uh, a nice little spot to check out for a nice basic uh, hamburger and fry or onion ring or other side kind of meal. Um, so, whoa, this is like a whole side of onion here. It's almost like a nacho. So this uh, comeback sauce almost looks like nacho cheese sauce. If you didn't know what it was, you might think it was cheese, but oh no, it's a whole other kind of sauce. Okay, there we go. The last onion ring. Can I finish it? Oh, I'm so full. I don't know. Can I finish this? Comment below if you think I can finish it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can finish it. It's just one onion ring, right? So if I can't finish this, I will have truly gone completely weak in my ability to destroy my plate of food. All right, I'm making good effort. Adding uh, the comeback sauce to the very last because it's so delicious. All right, completely done with my plate. I am successful with destroying this plate. If you give this video a thumbs up and destroy that subscribe button too, just like I destroyed that plate of food, I really would appreciate it. So the bill total for my cheeseburger and a nice tea was $15.87 before tip. And thanks to everybody at Vinny's for a great meal and I'll be back for steak night. And tune in next time for more good food, good times and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.